Welcome again, hero fighters. Let's start the training test now. 1. What does CNG stand for? A. Compressed nitrogen gas. B. Contained natural gas. C. Compressed natural gas. D. Conducted natural gas. Two. What is a fire guard? A. Person holding a certificate of fitness. B. A temporary surveillance measure. C. Equipment used for hot work. D. An area exposed to sparks. Three. What is a fire watch? A. Surveillance for fire hazards. B. Equipment used for hot work. C. A person holding a fitness certificate. D. An area exposed to heat. 4. Which activities are included in hot work? A. Painting and cleaning operations. B. Cutting, welding, and brazing. C. Storing gas cylinders safely. D. Inspecting fire safety equipment. 5. What defines the hot work area? A. Area storing gas containers. B. Zone for fire extinguisher placement. C. Space exposed to sparks or heat. D. Office for the responsible person. 6. What is hot work equipment? A. Fire extinguishers and hoses. B. Personal protective gear worn. C. Electric or gas welding tools. D. Sprinkler system components nearby. 7. What is a hot work program? A. Training for fire guards. B. Overseeing and authorizing hot work. C. Storing flammable gas cylinders. D. Routine equipment maintenance schedule. 8. What are hot work program authorizations? A. Permits issued by the FDNY. B. Daily inspection checklists used. C. Certificates held by operators. D. Approvals by the responsible person. 9. What does LPG stand for? A. Liquid propane gas. B. Liquefied pressurized gas. C. Liquefied petroleum gases. D. Low pressure gas. Ten. What is a torch applied roof system? Roof installed using nails. B. System using hot mopped asphalt. C. Membrane heated by torch. D. Roof cooled by water spray. Eleven. A certificate of fitness is needed for connecting LPG containers of what capacity? A. Less than 16.4 ounces. B. Equal to or greater than 16.4 ounces. C. Only containers over 100 pounds. D. Any portable LPG container. 12. What information must be on the tag if an LPG supplier connects containers? A. Supplier name and address. B. Date of last container inspection. C. Type of gas inside container. D. Location of nearest fire hydrant. 13. Which torch operations always require a certificate of fitness holder? A. Small soldering jobs only. B. Any torch applied roofing system. C. Heating food at outdoor events. D. Thawing pipes in residential homes. 14. An FDNY permit is required for storing flammable gas exceeding how many SCF? A. 100 SCF. B. 250 SCF. C. 400 SCF. D. 500 SCF. 15. 
an FDNY permit is required for storing oxygen exceeding how many SCF? A. 250 SCF. B. 400 SCF. C. 504 SCF. D. 600 SCF. 16. How many 20 pounds LPG containers require an FDNY permit? A. 1 container. B. 2 containers. C. 3 containers. D. 5 containers. 17. Where is the storage of portable LPG containers over 16.4 ounces prohibited? A. Outdoor construction sites only. B. Commercial kitchen storage areas. C. Residential occupancies indoors slash roofs. D. Designated factory work zones. 18. What is the maximum weight for a single standard portable LPG container? A. 50 pounds. B. 75 pounds. C. 100 pounds. D. 150 pounds. 19. What is the maximum capacity for a single CNG container? A. 100 SCF. B. 250 SCF. C. 381 SCF. D. 400 SCF. 20. How long is a permanent site-specific FDNY permit typically valid? A. 6 months only. B. 12 months only. C. 24 months only. D. Indefinitely until revoked. 21. How long can a citywide permit be used at one location before a site-specific one is needed? A. 7 calendar days. B. 14 calendar days. C. 30 calendar days. D. 60 calendar days. 22. Who issues the hot work program authorization? A. The FDNY commissioner directly. B. The designated responsible person. C. The certificate of fitness holder. D. The building owner's insurance. 23. When must the hot work program authorization be available for inspection? A. Only during active hot work. B. Only after work is completed. C. During work and 48 hours after. D. Only before work commences daily. 24. How far must cutting or welding operations be from combustibles? A. 10 feet distance. B. 20 feet distance. C. 25 feet distance. D. 35 feet distance. 25. How far must other hot work operations not cutting slash welding be from combustibles? A. 10 feet distance. B. 25 feet distance. C. 35 feet distance. D. 50 feet distance. 26. Can sprinkler system protection be shut off during hot work? A. Yes, if inconvenient nearby. B. Yes, with FDNY permission. C. No, must not be impaired. D. Only a fire guard present. 27. What should be used to shield sprinkler heads near hot work? A. Plastic sheeting material. B. Wooden boards placed nearby. C. Non-combustible barriers or damp cloth. D. Operator stands blocking sparks. 28. How many torches can one person operate simultaneously? A. One torch only. B. Two torches maximum. C. Three if experienced. D. Depends on the job. Twenty-nine. How long must a fire watch continue after hot work concludes? A. 10 minutes minimum. B. 15 minutes minimum. C. 30 minutes minimum. D. 60 minutes minimum. 30. 
What is the first inspection time after completing CNG or LPG torch operations? A. 15 minutes after completion. B. 30 minutes after completion. C. 45 minutes after completion. D. 60 minutes after completion.